हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर रुचिका गर्ग टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ डेली फीटल मूवमेंट काउंट डी एफ एम सी विच इज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड बाई योर डॉक्टर्स सो वी रेकमेंड यू डेली फीटल मूवमेंट काउंट इन द लास्ट ट्राइमेस्टर ऑफ योर प्रेगनेंसी दैट इज ट्वेंटी एट वीक्स ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी सो देर इज अ कार्डिय काउंट ऑफ टेन फॉर्मूला इन विच द पेशेंट शुड रिपोर्ट टू द डॉक्टर इफ शी फील्स लेस दैन टेन काउंट्स इन अ ट्वेल्व आवर पीरियड so all the fetuses have uh, they have a uh, sleep cycle and a wake up cycle some uh, some in uh, some fetuses sleep in the daytime some fetuses sleep in the night time so it's possible that in some of the fetuses uh, the fetal movements are felt more in the day and more some sometimes more in the night so generally in a primary gravida that is who is pregnant for the first time the fetal movements are felt around uh, 20 to 24 weeks of pregnancy that is around 5th uh, to 6th month because in some patients it might be felt earlier and some women take it a uh, quite longer time to perceive the fetal movements but those ladies who have been pregnant before also uh, in them around 18 to 20 weeks is the time when they perceive the fetal movements that is around 4 and a half to 5 months of pregnancy so they can feel the pregnant uh, fetal movements as early as 4 and a half months or 18 weeks so uh, ideally the fetal movements uh, 10 fetal movements generally are felt within a span of 2 hours and it is found that after the mother has her lunch or dinner so after her glucose levels are increased the fetal movements are generally more so you can decide a time during the day when you can uh, count your fetal movements generally uh, after the lunch you if you take a one hour rest you can uh, uh, see the, your fetal movements uh, and you can count them and sometimes it happens that during the some mothers report that ma'am i am not able to perceive the fetal movements because it might be possible that you are uh, very much busy throughout the day and in the Uh, night when everything is quiet and that time and when you are also resting uh, that time uh, you will perceive the fetal movements so i have an advice that you should lie on your left lateral position that is on your left side because if you lie on your left side your fetus will get more oxygen uh, because through the placenta because the uh, growing uterus will not press on the large veins and decreasing the blood return to the placenta so uh, after a few days you will come to notice a pattern of your fetal movement uh, that is when the baby rolls squishes swells and uh, so you should report to the doctor immediately whenever you notice that the fetus count is decreased the fetal movement is decreased or the fetal uh, there is a long gap between the movement of the fetus or sometimes the fetal movement stops so there are other tests also like ultrasound or non invasive uh, tests uh, like nst non stress test and color doppler ultrasound but for that you will uh, that when you go to the doctor and you report that you have less fetal movements or decreased fetal movements then they might do that so decreased fetal movement or uh, stopped fetal movement can be a sign of intrauterine fetal death or stillborn stillbirth so uh, be very alert take your precautions and do this daily fetal movement count dfmc and have a uh, ha healthy pregnancy and you can subscribe to these videos and share these videos with your friends for more such information thank you